Just go straight to the commissioner. Look, I solved it. Look at this gun. Bang. Oh, shit. I gotta turn myself in. Bam. Fuck. <laughs>to Radical Rush. James, what are we doing? We're playing L.A. Noir. I've played this game before. Have you played it, Dan? I've never seen this game. I've never even watched a fucking trailer or a cutscene or anything. The most, the most I know about this game is that fucking meme, you know, where it's like someone posts a story that sounds really bullshit, and then you just post an image of the guy, and it's like, press X to doubt or whatever. That's as much <laughs> as I know about this game. Well, pretty much that's what you're gonna be doing. I'm gonna be just like, yeah, let's skip the tutorial. Case. <gasps> oh, wait. Well, oh, no. No, we don't want to skip Well, no, those. I mean, if you know what you're doing, you can just teach no. me. We don't have to do the tutorial. Uh, it's fine. No, man, it's you gotta fine. know what's going it's on. It's fine, yeah. Oh, you gotta know what's going on. Oh, so you, you don't know the story really... if you don't play the tutorial? Oh, my God. You get to hear this really cool voiceover. Do you remember... There's Well, there's another thing I know about this game. When this was, like, praised as just the most advanced graphics that the world had mm -hmm. ever seen. It, like, won awards or some shit. Look at it now. This looks like garbage. It's because of the face rigging. Well, and like the there's like <clears throat> I don't know, I don't really know how to describe it technically, but it's just so plain and boring. Like the scenery is not dynamic. <laughs> I guess it's it looks like, like trash. It's 19, 1940s LA. Oh yeah, because in 1940s the world <laughs> looked lower res than it does today. It's an aesthetic. Fuck you. No, it's not. This guy's like, yeah, I just came out of that plane. Impressive, right? Yeah, look at me. I can stand on the fucking ground. Wow, that ground. guy came out of a plane. <laughs> no one's ever done that before in 1940s LA. 40. <laughs> no, planes, planes were around in like the 19 teens. And th this is like 1940s version of uh, uh, American Idol. Is it really? Just, pe just people waiting in line because all these ladies want to be stars. I know, they're seeing a movie. A, 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 excuse me, a lecture by this super interesting guy, I'm sure. This guy uh, giving a lecture has my second favorite voice in the game. You rank your favorite voices? Yes, I do. That is a nerd thing to do. James, why do you do that? Explain to us. I like... I like, I like, I like voices. James is a voice actor, ladies and gentlemen. So are you. Well, no, I'm not. I'm an amateur. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I didn't pay attention to any of that? Upon reflection! Mm-hmm. That was just a guy giving a little you know what you're narration about 1940s Los Angeles. <laughs> a history lesson of the present day. You're playing as this guy, driving as this guy. You play as Cole Phelps, the greatest cop ever. Oh, too bad he's probably dead now. <laughs> I know he was- he, oh, this- I'm sorry, this looks like trash, dude. You said well, this, this game came out- That's not that this long 2011. ago. No. 2011. I swear there were better looking games in 2011. It's the facial rigs that people freaked out about. That, I mean, like, that's true. Um, yeah. It's so pretty much. Oh god. So pretty <laughs> you, much. Gonna be you crash into the is. truck and it's like immediately game over. I'm just gonna be. I'll be the cop that's uh, driving around, shooting people, not asking questions. And Dan, you're gonna be the one that's actually conducting the interview. Well, how am I gonna ask questions if everyone's dead? That's a good question. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. You are. You are what started the whole crooked cop problem in America. You are the reason. Yes. People, yes, cops are gunning down innocent people. It's you. Yes. I mean, it's Cole Phelps. He was the beginning. Right. One thing so, knows, he said that... a racism. <laughs> he said a racism right there. 1940s, uh, ladies and gentlemen. You may not have noticed when the game was starting up, it was saying, hey, this game takes place in 1940s, so there's going to be a lot of stuff you may not uh, be happy or agree with or Basically, like. Basically, you're not going to like this game. This game is going to make you uncomfy. <laughs> You're just gonna have to sack up and deal with it. Dan, this game is gonna make you very uncomfortable with later uh, cases. Oh, oh no. Yeah, like, that's assuming it, we make it that far. This is an adult game. This is not a game. Oh, he said for, it. Like, he said hump. Younger demographic. You're right. It's adult. <laughs> He said hump. So I actually did not know that there was even an overworld sort of portion of this game. Like you get to drive yes. around and do action things. This is made by Rockstar, the guys who made GTA. Yeah, so. I didn't know that. I mean, I know who Rockstar is, but I didn't know that. If you pick up these newspapers, they'll give you uh, bonus cutscenes that give you the backstory Ooh. of what's going on right now. You know, if you were to interview me uh, about Let's Plays and you were to ask me, what do you think is the number one thing that makes a good Let's Play? Do you know what my answer would be? What? Cutscenes. Lots of cutscenes. <laughs> no, no gameplay. 
Just cutscenes. <laughs> this is the guy I'm talking about. He has a voice like this. Oh, which one? The doctor? Or? Yeah, I would say yes, given the right set of circumstances. So he's got a creepy, low southern drawl, yeah. is what you're telling me. <laughs> that sounds great and attractive, and I love it. <laughs> and I'm already uncomfy. The voice actor playing. hospital. Did you see that? No. <laughs> I'm not paying attention at all. He has a friend at the voice actor hospital. <laughs> I don't think you are telling the truth, my friend. It's when you do too many screaming sessions that he's like, oh, I gotta go to the hospital now. The voice actor hospital. Don't be a pussy. <laughs> if, if you don't scream eight hours a day <laughs> without going to the hospital, you are not a voice actor. Is that is that friend. is that what the doctors say once they go to the voice actor hospital? You pussy. I'm a voice doctor. You pussy. You pussy. Get out of here. Get I don't treat here. you. I don't treat pussies. <laughs> I'm not a veterinarian. <laughs> I basically I'm a little bit biased because all you ever make me do is scream. Or well, anyone really. That's like my number one cast role. You have a good screaming voice. Is a screaming voice. guy. Thanks. It's not a compliment I ever thought I would receive. Wait. Our first clue. Wait. A bottle. It's oh. a Heineken. No. If Cole, nothing if Cole says well, this means nothing, <laughs> it means it means nothing. Be that's like the worst thing in games like this, where the character tells you, eh, it's not important. <laughs> well, I want to decide if it's important. <laughs> Shit, fuck you. So, um, you're walking around in Pokemon, and you're trying to press A on a bookcase or something, and it doesn't give you a dialogue box. I want to know about the bookcase. <laughs> Shooter put him up against the wall and blew his brains out. <gasps> oh, violence. Way to go. Yep. Huh. It's my preferred way This is the tip of the iceberg with how violent this game gets. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, it's not... Is it... Can you really say it's violent if it's just a blood stain on a surface, no body? Well, it was super violent for 2011. Eh. People, people... Ocarina of Time had blood stains. People threw up on sight when they saw that door. <laughs> oh, so God. many Let's Players get threw up. For this. Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> Ten years on the force and you never get used to it. So this is the gun you were looking for. This is the murder yes, weapon. This seems to be the murder weapon. Two shots were fired, hmm. and we got a serial number on it, which means we can track it down. <gasps> a serial number? That means it's a serial killing. N no, that's, that's not what it means. I'm a brilliant detective. Fuck you. Just go straight to the commissioner. Look, I solved it. It's a serial Look at this murder. Gun. Bang! Oh shit! <laughs> Fuck! I am the latest serial murderer in the city. I killed the. I gotta turn myself in! Bam! Fuck! <laughs> Dude, you're going to fucking kill everyone. How do they let you stay on the force? Uh, if you have your siren on, people actually, uh, start pulling over when you get close to them. Just like real life! How immersive is this game? Um, where do you live that you think people actually pull over for sirens in real life? I did. I do. Well, yeah, well, you do, but goddamn, every time I'm driving down the street and there's like a, an ambulance or a cop coming, people just stay in the middle of the fucking road. Yeah, it's a, it looks a little bit like this, actually. We sell ammo. We sell ammo. That's good, I guess. I don't think I've ever seen... Here. I've never been to a gun store in my life, so I actually don't know if that's something they advertise. I get... Man, I've never seen, like, a dedicated gun store, but, I mean, they sell them at Walmart and oh. Dick's Sporting Goods and... I guess, I, don't know. I guess I've never been to that section of Walmart. One thing uh, I want, this game has like, like, like a hundreds of actors um, and very few of them ever have like the same face. It's only during like the side cases where you like uh, pick up a dispatch call, dispatch call or whatever that you'll notice that someone has the exact same face of someone you've already met in a different case. I, you know, I probably won't even notice that. Yeah. I am so bad with faces. Oh, okay. So I'm probably the best person for this job. If you don't... <laughs> Is that even a face? I can't tell. What an ace detective. What are you? Uh, I do my best, okay? Well, I'm looking for a... What do, you... I'm look, uh, do you see one that says a pearl grip? A per oh, this, these are the gun descriptions. Uh, they're all walnut. They're like all walnut grips. Oh, crud. Oh, God damn, there it is. this riveting gameplay. Look at this finger. Barrel, case steel... Errol Schroeder. <laughs> I'm looking at it. It's kind of grungy. Mm. It clean under your fingernails, sir. It's a 1940s fingernail. Yeah, fingernails were different back then, see? It belongs to a guy named Schroeder, so now we're going to go to his apartment and be like, hey, uh, what the fuck, bro? So basically, the way I see this going down <laughs> is like, it's like, you, you ever watch Detective Conan? Yes, I watched. Or, or Case Closed, oh, I yeah. watched. I watched and read a lot of that until I'm like, okay, this is going on for way too long. But anyway, yeah. Well, that's you, neither here nor there. Yeah, saying? there's like a thousand episodes. But it, it, it kind of so pisses anyway, me off, but yeah. It's it's always the same thing. So they know who did it, right? They talk to him and, you know, ah, deny, deny, deny. They show like one piece of evidence 
not only do they confess, but they tell you your whole fucking or their whole fucking life story about like what drove them to this decision to kill their best friend or whatever. Yeah. And they like break down and cry right there. That's how I envision this is about to go down. <laughs> They're gonna walk up to his door. Hey, did you kill this guy? No. Here's the here's the gun you did it with. Okay, it was me. But he stole my girlfriend. He deserved it. That sounds like an airtight defense to me. Oh well, that's property damage. <laughs> ah! We got a confession. Okay, well you are dis. You, what's the word for when you get kicked off the police force? Um, not disbarred. That's a lawyer. You're suspended. Anyway, you're getting kicked know. off the force. <laughs> suspended forever. <laughs> you're suspended forever. And you're, you're not even going to, like, stop and exchange information with that guy. You're just going to let him repair the dent with his own money, like a good cop. Mm -hmm. You're a piece of shit, you know that? Oh, uh, okay. Actually, I actually thought we were going to hit that guy. I think I hit him anyway. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. He winged. He tried to pit maneuver. By the way, I don't want to do this because I'd have to do the case over again, but if you drive right into a gas station, it will explode and you will die. <laughs> Holy shit, that's awesome. Stop winging people! What's <laughs> wrong with you? It's okay, uh, you don't get a rank in this case, so... The thing is, uh, the, oh, more, the, okay. more, the more the more damage you cause, the lower your rank will be at the end of a case, but this case doesn't have a rank, so it's fine. So you could do whatever the hell you I want. I could shoot someone in the that's face, great. and it'd be fine. Alright, Trump. <laughs> I could go down to 6th Avenue and shoot someone dead, and you'd still vote for me. That's my Trump impression, by the way. Schroeder's in apartment too. You think? You think eh, close enough. You think Donald Trump wanted to be a cop? I don't think Donald Trump has ever wanted anything, to, like specific. To be honest with you, other than to be noticed. <laughs> oh, all right. There is a big plate of our food guy, entering guy, my recording booth right now. There's a what? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I have been delivered food right into my booth. Oh, that's that's first class treatment right there. Uh, sorry, I don't have any cash on me. Um, I'll tip you later? <laughs> Next time I order food? Okay, bye. Yeah, sorry about that. It's dumb Indian kid who delivers my food. What are you talking about? <laughs> what? Nothing. Let's go. <laughs> I have to find somewhere to set this down. Cole and his partner are just looking at you. Like... Cole, we got things to do. <laughs> <laughs>